Margaret Villa, or Marge Villa, was one of only 11 Latinas who played professional baseball in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League, or the AAGPBL. She was an incredible player, a record-setting Mexican-American catcher. She also played second base and shortstop in more than 500 games with the Kenosha Comets in Wisconsin. And during her professional baseball career, she set records for RBIs, or runs batted in, and total bases in a game. This is Marge's official AAG PBL baseball card. It was issued in 1995 because the AAG PBL didn't actually issue cards while it was in operation, but the card details via statistics over her five-year career in the league. When Marge wore this uniform at age 13, she could never have known that she was gonna be catapulted just a few years later to the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. It was the first and only professional league for women. Philip K. Wrigley, Chicago Cubs owner and chewing gum mogul, began the AAG PBL at the onset of World War II. Wrigley, like many other uh, Major League owners, was concerned that the draft would interfere with Major League Baseball. They wanted to be able to play a regular season, and instead they created the AAG PBL so that women could play. Only 11 Latinas played baseball in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League, and of them, nine were from Cuba, one was from Venice, California, and Marge was from Montebello, California, just 10 miles away from El Sereno where I grew up. So I suppose we both found camaraderie, um, whether it was on the field or in the stands. We were both tomboys growing up. Um, we both had brothers who were inspirational baseball players as well. When I started collecting for the Latinos in Baseball Project, now playable in the Barrios in the Big Leagues and Los Barrios y Las Grandes Ligas exhibition and book, I knew that we needed to document and collect and display women's stories. But they, or at least the uniforms, were really hard to find. Baseball is almost always thought of as a man's sport, but we have worked really hard to make sure that women's stories are present throughout, and Marge's story is such an emblem of this. Her story is part of our nation's heritage. It's part of the national collection. Her words, her shared insights and artifacts and pictures will live on long after we've gone. Our Latina history is American history. 